Now in today's video, I'm going to be showing you why majority of women are actually secretly craving conventionally masculine men. This is oftentimes something that they're not able to find with the men that they're either dating or, you know, the guys that they're having interactions with. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step how you can use this to your advantage to have far more leverage inside of your dating life than you currently do right now. Now, when this video is over, I want you to do one thing and one thing only. I want you to go down below. I want you to click the link in the description and check out the full length MBT masculine behavioral technique, full length end to end webinar presentation that I put together for you, because I'm going to be showing you how we take some of these concepts into today's video and take them even further in that presentation. So that way you can get results at a far quicker pace. Let's dive in. Okay. This video will be very important because by the time we get to this side of the column inside of the marker board, I'm going to be explaining polarity and the concept of polarity in a way that I have never explained on this channel before. This one secret alone is going to really help your dating life because when you understand the concept of polarity, you're going to notice how you attract women at a far easier pace. So let's dive into this step by step. Modern women today are craving conventionally masculine men. And the biggest reason for this is because women love a man in control of his emotions. This is going to be one of the highest peaks of masculinity is if you're able to do this. Now, for some of you who you're like, you know, naturally my personality, I don't have a lot of charisma or naturally I'm not super talkative or it's hard for me to start conversations. I'm going to explain exactly how you can still get results too. So this is how, you know, more of like the strong, stable, quiet type of guy can still win. The first thing you have to understand or the first personality trait you have to adapt is being completely unapologetic with your character. This is completely just embodying the, I don't give a fuck mentality. I don't care what that guy thinks. I don't care what she thinks. I don't care what that woman thinks that I took on that date. Nothing. Okay. So I'll give you an example. If you have this personality type and a woman finds that guy boring, you say to yourself, so be it. I don't care. Right. He doesn't care to please her or anyone. Women love to see a man who needs nobody. So when you operate like this, you're unapologetic with your character and you don't need anybody like you're self sufficient and you feel good as is and how you operate, you believe is correct by default because you really don't care what anybody else says about you. This is going to heighten attraction. It shows that woman that that man is fully congruent with himself and fully congruent with his personality. So women love to see a man oftentimes who needs no one. Now, what does that mean? That means first and foremost, he's never dependent, which means he's self sufficient. The guy can handle being alone and he needs nobody's validation. No, uh, he doesn't need validation from a woman. He doesn't need a validation from any sort of ex external factors. He doesn't care like how many likes he gets on a post. He definitely doesn't care about anybody's opinion. This is attractive to women. Why would all of these things be so attractive to women? Because it shows that he is a good bet for survival. When I say a good bet for survival, what does that mean? It means women are oftentimes looking at the survival value of a man. Okay. They're wanting a man who they can stick with for the long haul and is strong and stable and dependable, which is oftentimes going to be a good bet for her survival. Okay. Women are survival creatures. It all comes down to survival. So when a guy is never dependent, okay. And he can handle being alone and he's self-sufficient. You're going to notice attraction raises because this man in some way, shape or form has made it. Okay. He's made it. He's comfortable being alone. He likes who he is. Okay. Very important. Now, how do you do this? How do you be, how, how do you adapt this idea of being a conventionally masculine man? If you want to use this sort of principles and ideas today, what you have to be or what you have to internalize or what you have to encompass. Okay. And this is something that takes practice. Like this is still stuff that I work on every single day, like being solid and congruent every single day and who I am to the, like the utmost. This is important. Being a man of solid principle. What that means is when you agree with something and you say yes to it, your yes means yes. No if, ands or buts. Okay. You don't waver your no means no. If you say no, I don't want to do something that means no end of discussion. So you're able to say yes as a complete sentence and no as a complete sentence. You're able to answer the question. 
When you're a man of solid principle like that, what it shows is it shows that you stand for certain beliefs. Okay, when you stand for certain beliefs, that means that you're opinionated and you do and operate how you want to. So you're opinionated in what you do and how you think. Say that with me one more time. You're opinionated in what you do and how you think. Women like to see this. So you gotta understand women are not looking at when they're dating a guy, they're not looking at what he says and how he operates as a, as a pass or fail as a good or bad. It's to what extent does this guy believe in what he's saying that transitions into congruence. Okay. So you're opinionated in what you do and how you think, and you're unapologetic about that character. So here's how most men lose women. Like I'm gonna explain this. Women will start dating a guy and she will notice that he starts to bend or break in his beliefs or truthfully, he did, he, he never really had that rock solid of beliefs in the first place. So here's what I mean by this. This is how most men lose women. The first thing that you're going to notice is they have a flexible personality or a, they're flexible within their identity, which means who they are can change. Now women are, women are very, very good at looking at small, minute detail. Okay. They're looking at the person as a whole. So that means what I'm, I, what I'm going to tell you this. I don't care if you've been dating a girl for a week. I don't care if you've been married for 10 years. When you're in front of that woman, she's evaluating you 24 seven. If, if her eyes are open and she's awake, she is evaluating you. This is how women operate. And this is something they don't want you to know. Now I'm going to, I'm going to say this too. They're not consciously doing this. This is wired into the subconscious behavior. And when they're looking at that guy or when they're listening to him, they're watching how he acts. They're watching how he behaves. Okay. Every single micro nuance or expression within your face, she's looking at was that nuance or that expression in your face emotionally charged? did, is this guy moved off center? Is this guy getting angry? Is this guy wavering in his beliefs? Is this guy flustered? Is, does this seem like a, a guy who's going to crack under pressure? She's, she's identifying you 24 seven because it all comes down to survival. She wants the strongest man that she can find. And oftentimes that means the strongest man that she can find internally, not just how big your muscles are. So this is all about the internal conviction in who you are. So what that means is that means they don't know who they truly are. And if they don't know who they truly are, what that also stems into is they don't know why they believe what they believe. Okay. They, they listen to other people or they're constantly bending and breaking in their beliefs based on what other people tell them. And because of that, they're not solid in who they are. If you fit that frame, women feel this. She notices how easily you're influenced either through her emotions or through external circumstance. When she notices how easy your influence, she starts to doubt your judgment. When she starts to doubt your judgment, now she doesn't feel safe. Now she starts to exit and she starts to find a new guy who she feels safer with. This is important to understand. So for those of you wanting to embody this element of masculinity or this element of mass, like masculine energy within who you are, what you have to realize at a deep level is you cannot care what others think about you at all. Meaning you don't care if others agree with you. Say that with me again. You do not care. Like you literally don't give a single fuck if other people agree with you or not. Their thoughts, feelings, and emotions should not be changing, you know, your own opinions and beliefs, especially if you're completely solid in who you are. So what that means is a masculine man, when you look at this at a deep level, that means you do not conform just to appease people. When you conform to appease people, I put a big, big star or a big circle by this one. This is passive behavior. Say that with me one more time. This is passive behavior. If this is like, when you look at passive behavior at a deep level, that means you catch yourself doing this. You're now moving into your feminine energy. You're becoming passive. Okay. That means instead of you having impact on the world, the world now has impact on you. The world has impact on you. Now this, this affects your subconscious. This now affects how you communicate. This now affects how you move and how you operate. This now affects how you see life. This is bad. Okay. 
This is passive behavior. If you catch yourself doing this, you've now moved into your feminine energy. That means you need to just completely let people think what they want. Let them think whatever they want about you. Let them talk about you. Okay. It, it, it doesn't matter. The more you're happy with yourself, the more you almost self promote yourself in any way, shape or form like this is who I am. I take a stand for who I am. I don't care if other people agree with it or not. You're going to notice that women are very receptive to that. That man appears strong. That man appears like a social risk taker that oftentimes is winning in life. And that's very important. So let people think what they want. That means if people are talking about you or if people are judging you, if they don't pay your bills or help get you to internal peace or internal heaven, you can't worry about it. So notice, does any of this have anything to do with like step by step what you say to the woman in order to attract her? No, obviously not. But this goes even deeper. This goes deeper because this stems into who you are. And at the end of the day, when she goes out on the date, she's dating the man, like who that guy is. The more she learns about him and his personality, this is going to give her a good idea of your character of who you are or who you say you are or who you think you are. And this is important to have this figured out. So this is a little secret I don't talk about often, but what you have to realize is you got to realize that she craves polarity, which would be her opposite. I would say majority of the dating issues of wondering how to act when a guy is wondering how to act or how to behave on a date or how to act or how to behave with a woman can be solved by just making a quick list like this and understanding that whatever that woman is or whatever her personality traits are like that you're going out on that date with, you have to understand that all you have to do is reverse it because polarity is what creates the attraction. This is something that's not like talked about nearly enough. So let's just do this real quick. Make a list of what you want. So when guys say, you know, I want a feminine woman, I came up with like seven personality traits that would probably like satisfy majority of men, or this is something that you would probably look for in a woman. So I wrote down number one, loving, loyal, caring, soft tone, sweet, never argumentative, nurturing. Okay. Those are all seven of the behavioral traits. What, what would like, what is the archetype of this? This is the archetype of the good girl. Okay. Men oftentimes are very attracted to these personality traits. Okay. If a woman had all of these personality traits, guys would oftentimes call their friends up on the phone and say, yeah, man, dude, this girl I went out with, man, she's a good one. I like her. Okay. This, this is going to be like, I just made a quick list of seven. So the problem that most guys have is they just align with these traits. This is a big no, no. This is going to backfire. What you have to do is you have to reverse all of these personality traits. So if she's loving number one, what would be the opposite for you? That would be non-reactive or non-emotional, completely opposite. Number two, if she's loyal and you find that attractive, what would be the opposite? The opposite is a man who has options. Okay. Number three, if she's caring and you find that attractive, what is she going to find attractive? Well, let's reverse it. The opposite of caring would be doesn't give a fuck. The guy doesn't care. The guy literally doesn't care. This is going to raise her attraction. Number four, if a woman has a soft tone or soft vocal tone, what would be the opposite of that? The opposite of that would mean you have an assertive tone. Okay. Number five, if she's sweet, the opposite of sweet would be harsh or vulgar. Number six, if she's never argumentative, the opposite of that for a man, you're opinionated in who you are. You speak up, you're assertive. This is important. Last but not least, if she's nurturing, that means you're tough. Well, what would this archetype be? This is almost the archetype of the bad boy. So you got to understand they're polar opposites. This is the archetype that men oftentimes like fall in love with or deeply crave out of a woman. You have to understand that the reason why majority of women are craving conventionally masculine men is because this is reversed. If you can reverse this, this is now the opposite archetype of the personality traits that she has. Majority of the dating and relationship problems, if you notice anything in a short term relationship, a long term relationship, a marriage can be solved with a quick list like this. What are the things you look for in a woman now reverse it and ask yourself, are you acting this way that a masculine man would act? If the answer is no, you're going to notice 
Women, women can change emotion or feelings towards a guy minute for minute, hour for hour. The second you start acting like this, watch the dynamic change. Now she all of a sudden is more nurturing toward you. Now, she, now she's sweeter towards you. Now she likes being around you more. This would solve the majority of the issues most guys go through. This step by step is why modern women are oftentimes craving conventionally masculine men. If you like this video, I want you to hit the like button, comment and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.